Hey, we want to help you live a happy, healthy life, and snow shoveling can really be part of it. <laughs> but it can also throw you a curveball. You may not think about it, but shoveling comes with risks. Yeah, it's responsible for thousands of injuries every year and 100 deaths, most of them from sudden heart attack. KXY4's Caroline Flynn is live in Spokane with Multicare Rockwood this morning to find out why. Absolutely. Well, snow shoveling is something we really go in and do without thinking. And when we are thinking, it's usually, okay, how can I get this done super quickly and get back inside to warm up? I know at least I do. I'm here with Nick this morning from Multicare Rockwood Strength and Conditioning. You're one of the coaches. You probably see a myriad of issue, issues like we were talking about where it can just cause an injury to something like a heart attack. My question to you, though, is, is how does that happen and why does that happen? Well, one of the things is snow shoveling is actually a vigorous activity, especially if you have a longer driveway or you're shoveling for longer periods of time. And most people are sitting down, they're not doing much activity, and then they go, oh, I got to go to work, and they start shoveling it right away as fast as they can without warming up or doing anything prior. Probably also in the days and months before, even weeks, because it's winter and we want to be inside. Another thing from the American Heart Association is cold weather can increase your heart rate and blood pressure. It can make your blood clot easier, constricting your arteries, and that can lead to a decreased blood supply. A lot of things, you know, we're probably not even really thinking of in the winter, and especially, again, associating it with shoveling snow. Definitely something you should be having a conversation with your doctor about. Is there any particular age you think, Nick, if people are watching, getting ready to unfortunately be shoveling this weekend that they should be concerned about? Really, that's a tricky question. I think it more it relates to the individual person. If they have a known heart condition, they should definitely have that conversation with their doctor. Uh, for someone who's deconditioned, just making sure that they take their time, don't rush into things, and really work efficiently. Go Wear slow, good take breaks. Absolutely. Yep. And we're going to get into a couple more of those tips coming up at 630 because, again, as Mark said, it looks like we might be having some snow this weekend, and you might be wanting to get these on your front porches. Live this morning in Spokane with Multicare Rockwood, Caroline Flynn, KXY4 News. All right. I don't want a shovel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll what? come over and use my, my snowblower. Please, yeah, pretty please. Right. Yeah. He's been trying to use this. It's all still in the box long. since Christmas. Don't waste your time. <laughs> three to five inches of snow possible from Friday into Saturday, even into the valleys. For us, we could see up to a foot of snow into the Cascades. But let me put this to you. Uh, Heber, Montana, 37 below zero right now. Do you feel Ooh. warmer? 